Good morning, Father Jeff Henry here with St. Michael Catholic Community for Travis Air Force Base. And I'd like to share a few thoughts with you for 240 seconds or less with regard to today's psalm for Mass, the Psalms. Normally, we, uh, when I give these talks, it's either on the first lesson or the gospel. But the Psalms are beautiful and they have a way of directing our thoughts, helping us with our feelings toward God and our responses to God because we relate it to the psalmist of the day who often in his psalms is speaking directly to God about things that we can in some way or form relate to. Listen to this for a second. As the deer longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God. There's an interesting thing that the psalmist is doing with regard to this thirst, this thirst for God. He takes the thirst of an animal, a deer, and he relates that to our spiritual thirst. And in a sense, what he's also doing is the idea of what's called a synecdoche. Synecdoche. It means essentially part for the whole. For example, when the Titanic sank and they said 1,500 souls were lost, and you don't, they don't mean that the bodies were okay. Both body and soul were lost, but they use a part for the whole. So when the psalmist says, a thirst is my soul for the living God, yes, there's a thirst for the soul, but at the same time, the soul being joined to the body, the soul being the driving force behind the flesh, makes the body also a thirst for God. But what's interesting with regard to this is this understanding of passion. Now, in the church, there's a term for passion, which means often it's the desires that lead to sin. But there is a type of positive, holy passion, and that's a passion for God. We detach ourselves from the things that lead us to sin, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, the lust of the flesh, these sorts of things that are mentioned in 1 John. But our desire for God, our passion for God, is what predominates our desires that leads us into the paths of righteousness. So what the psalmist is saying to us today is develop a passion for God. Be like that deer that thirsts for running streams. Have that thirst for God which says, my thirst will not be quenched until I've drunk from the stream of everlasting life, which is Christ our Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ says in John, He who comes to me out of his heart will flow torrents of living water. When our soul is a thirst for the living God, all the other things fall by the wayside. And what happens is that all of a sudden our whole life gets enriched. That thirst gets slaked and we have this desire satisfied. So then we live in joy because everything else comes from the gift of God. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray that as our soul thirsts for you, we might seek and find you, that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that good shepherd, might direct us to the verdant pastures of faith in you, beside the still waters by which our thirst is slaked. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. I hope that you have a great day. You are in my thoughts and prayers. Hope to talk to you soon.